All right, traders, George here, and I just want to show you a few things that I'm looking at for this uh, upcoming week. Uh, let's take a look at the S&P here. We'll also look at uh, Tesla, Apple, and the Euro futures, but uh, we'll start out with the S&P here. We've done a lot of work on this just recently, and from the Friday uh, morning video that I sent out, talked about in, in training on Friday about being short on a break below 55, looking for 43 and maybe more below. We did get down a bit more, but I mentioned to cover at 43s if we broke back into that floor. We did break into the floor. Essentially, this is a pass-through signal. So for those of you that are on top of that, filled to the other side, 43s to 55s again, and then over 55 is what we're seeing here. So this is taking us into that next section that I talked about, which is north of 55 here into this air pocket, starting into the upper 60s and we're there right now uh, 67 50s has sort of held price for a little bit here we're just starting to show a little weakness up there okay so a lot of trading commitment from where we are now up until the uh, mid 70s there if we get over 75 in the s p e mini uh, that will be putting price on top of all the major trading commitment that we've seen so on a pullback here and on a fade, and this is a spot to watch for some weakness for a little bit of a short fade here, watch out for 55 on the way down. And then everything else still applies, 55 to 43 below. Um, the bulls did a really good job here of popping through this area, proving out 27 as support on the pullback, and then uh, retaking uh, 43s. The quick recovery here, the pass through right back up. So we're right to this zone here. We talked about it uh, when we were down here, talked about what it would look like if we did a pass through here, where we might find support on a pullback in the most bullish scenario. What would happen if we broke above 43s? What happens if we break back below 55? What happens if we break back above 43, above 55? And here we are. So all these key price points really uh, ringing the bell. So watch the S&P here fading uh, where it is now to move down to 55. It's got about a seven point range to chug through to get on top of about 75. And at that point, it will be open territory above outside of a little bit of structure. In terms of the trading commitment, it'll be open territory for the S&P. Let's move on to uh, Tesla. First, just to give you this big picture view, uh, Tesla's at 263s right now, and it's at it's all-time highs essentially it hasn't been here for many months and sort of a very deep symmetrical move up to retest those highs where it is right now so um, while I've got this chart view here I want to mention that there are two upside targets that I've got uh, 304 with the bell ringer being 325 now with this being at such a key resistance point here this is something that obviously would require price to break above this zone and hold it uh, but that's a key resonant zone for Tesla here, 325. So now I want to drill it down to a shorter look back here on the 60-minute chart and show you some more refined setups that are happening because if it breaks down here, and you can look to the left, in fact, 120-minute chart will help you see it a little better here. If we break below about 260, we're below this spike here, okay? So these two white lines traced off of the 700 day look back this balance beam here off of 120 days back so just about four or five dollars lower and it's going to trade below that and that opens up a bit of an air pocket here to about 250 round numbers below 250 there's yet another air pocket that opens up to about 240 round number okay and then bigger picture 228 206s and 177 if it really unwinds there's a lot of trading commitment here at 205s and in the lower 220s. So as a bullish instrument goes, this would be an area to watch for support on a pullback and a new resumption of the trend. At the same time, if this does pull back, would be a great time to look at an out of the money $325 call. No one will be thinking about that. But this is what I'm looking at right now is to see this area, if it's going to be rejected, which it's doing right now, and see if it gets any follow through below. This would be the aggressive short right here, 259, 69s. More confirmation below the big round number of 250, but you got about a $10 move until you start hitting another commitment area. So you got a $10 scalper here, below 260s, you got a $10 scalper down to this beam here. And then these are the extended targets below that. 
This is uh, Apple here looking back to its split in mid-June and there's just a ton of trading commitment from the 92s up to about the 97s or so and we're just knocking on the door at 99s here to completely clear out of this level which means everything that's happened in Apple since it split uh, all the trading commitment price is sitting on top of that so that's extremely bullish for Apple uh, there's a bit of a uptrend top line here and one of the price points I just watched is about 104 to 106 if we hit that zone here what it's been doing is it's been fading it would be likely going to pull back into this area here and create a higher low this would also create a buying opportunity if it happens to do that um, if it breaks much lower between about 92s and 94s would be putting it on on notice of uh, a bit of weakness after getting up that high if it starts trading below 92s or 94s that would really undo a lot of this sideways um, consolidation here and um, could precipitate a bigger sell-off however I would, would look for pullbacks into the zone to show support and then a resumption of the trend watch for a resistance swing at 104 106s if we don't fade there and we're very likely going to hit this in the next week or so if we don't fade here we could break out from this zone here and create the same style channel that we have here and take us up one more level so a parallel channel of about so looking at about a one to one move up and then around 110 uh, 109s would be a price point to watch but the one that has the most confluence is about 115 to 117 and so above 106s to 104s this is the main target that I'm looking for and on any pullbacks in Apple outside of looking for a an add-on if you're not already long this any weakness in Apple would be a great opportunity to look at these for out of the money calls because the premiums will go down and um, well when it recovers its bull trend they're gonna spike up big time so uh, that's what I'm looking at for Apple I haven't shown the euro for a while but the last time I talked about the euro I was highlighting this one 38 handle here as being a real key fulcrum point for it. It has been for actually a very long time, but uh, with opportunities to be long on strength above it, looking for um, 86 and uh, 39 24s were the two main zones I had above. Both times it got up to target two. The last time it completely rejected those areas. It's broken back below the weakness point. Which so uh, in breaking below this short entry point it's easily hit targets one two and three in fact when it hit target three down here you can see it put in a pretty big bounce put in a higher low new structure high and then with this area here not holding well that's another sign of weakness so it's broken back below the floor of this area here and driven it through this air pocket to an extended zone here at basically um, 3400 okay uh, below that we've got this spike right here at uh, 13,285. So this is the next target below where we are now and then it's really sort of a rest stop on the way down to further lows here. Very large air pocket. This is the dominant trading zone here. The dominator coming in at about 13,070s with a top line potential support here at about 13,135s. The floor down here is at 12,950s. So uh, right now there's a lot of weakness in the euro and with price breaking a little bit lower these would be the zones to watch for extended targets for a sign of strength here you would have to see price start to take over this top line here so if it can get back above uh, this zone here expect it to move up uh, back to about where target uh, 3 was initially and then it's got a real dense commitment here that would be considered overhead resistance floor to ceiling and then over the ceiling here the bulls would have a shot at moving it back up to 3800 so there's a look at the S&P Apple Tesla and the euro we'll see you back in the live room